Ladies and gentlemen, whether you like it or not. The Dead Gentleman's Gamers films are the finest films ever made to deal with Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, I know that sounds like faint praise given the others, but it's not. They're simply awesome. They both rival Bitch Slap as my favourite films that I've seen for the first time this year. The first Gamers was the second film by the Seattle-based comedy troupe The Dead Gentleman. It's 45 minutes of D&D action, mixing the players around the table and dramatising the action of the game itself, even when the dice rolls mean the unlikely or the impossible happens. Cool. The visuals and tech are primitive, but the DVD version I'm using here has spruced them up a little bit. The original version featured graphics similar to the classic kids show Nightmare, and to be honest I preferred the original because I love Nightmare. The costumes and sets are, well, they had no budget so fuck that. The script is where it counts and for role players, it's gold. While the sequel is directed at everyone, this film is unabashedly directed at gamers, so there's a lot of jokes that will fly over the head of non-gamers. One of the players is missing the session, so his character is constantly just standing there, looking off into the distance, no matter what's going on. In every party, there's someone who does downright stupid things, because they can, or because they're bored, and when I play, it's usually me. This party doesn't disappoint. The thief steals someone's trousers as they stand in the bar, and then backstabs someone with a siege weapon. The elf kills a bandit king multiple times before he can give his obligatory villain speech. You are seriously pissing me off. Gamers Darkness Rising is the more accessible but equally good sequel to the gamers made roughly five years after the first film. The budget, costuming, effects and sets have all improved. Whereas the first film was 45 minutes long and pretty much dealt with a single gaming session, Darkness Rising is nearly two hours long and deals with two sessions. Shows what the characters are up to in the week between the sessions and even finds time to dramatise a game of Ninja Burger. With pirates. Why pirates? Everything's better with pirates. Only one of the original characters returns, the constantly absent Mark, but several of the cast are back in new roles. The elf is now the DM, the thief is now a peasant NPC, the girl the players annoyed with their noise is now the goddess Theron. Like the previous film, a lot of comedy comes from the players doing things just because they can, such as killing NPCs. NPC? <clears throat> uh, non-player character. Oh, right. Which of course I'm supposed to know. Seducing NPCs. Hey baby, wanna... Tune my mandolin. And mangling the rules just enough to use a shotgun, chainsaw, and lightsaber. You can't use a lightsaber! It, it's not even the right system! But there's other humor on display, too. One of the players constantly forgets that he's playing a female character. Dude, you're a chick. Oh, right. How embarrassing. A player used to playing fighters tries his hand at being a bard and is forced to generate 50 identical characters as they keep dying. There's 37 more of me, asshole! Yeah! Unlike the first film, Darkness Rising gives non-gamers an entrance through a new player being shown the ropes of the game through the sessions, and she ends up being the most efficient player in the party. The Dead Gentlemen also do net comedy, live shows, and have made two Demon Hunters features, which can best be described as a comedy version of the World of Darkness, but with no RPG elements, if that makes sense. They're about demon hunters, hunting demons, mainly. Demon hunters including Tree, who's a Christmas tree, in a cowboy hat. To my knowledge, none of their stuff has been released properly and has to be ordered specially from their website, but it's well worth the money and it's a worthy grip to support. Please, buy copies by the bucket load. And if you see this dead gentleman, please make Gamers 3. Put simply, the Gamers movies are hilarious, original, and unashamedly geeky. If you can enjoy films that are poor in budget but rich in ideas, try these. Until next time, go to hell!